Hello again everyone. It's Saturday morning, September 16th, 2023. Vitold and I are in Prospect, New York, along the rails of the Mohawk, Adirondack, and Northern Railroad. We're awaiting the run of the Adirondack Railroad from Utica to Old Forge. It's a little over a hundred mile round trip. The train was scheduled to leave Utica at 9.30 this morning. They left just a little bit past the advertised at about 9.40. We're 18 miles or so north of Utica and we told is anxiously awaiting the arrival of the Adirondack. This stretch of tracks is on what's known as Remsen Hill. A pretty good grade of about 1.2 or 1.3 percent. I don't suspect they'll have any trouble getting up these rails today. They're not wet and there aren't any leaves on these tracks today. What rails and leaves on the rails themselves sometimes cause slippage and reduced speeds coming up the hill. This is former New York Central Territory. The Adirondack Railroad operates on Mohawk North Adirondack and Northern Rails for 23 miles from Utica to just past Remsen to a point called Snow Junction where home rails are reached. Adirondack Railroad operates over 85 miles of its own rails from Rumson Snow Junction up to Tupper Lake. For the last three weeks or so, maybe a little bit longer, there has been a washout or a couple of washouts north of Old Forge. Service to Tupper Lake has been suspended during that time but they're working on getting the washouts repaired so hopefully come next month there will be service to Tupper Lake we'll wait and see what happens it's a cool morning 56 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 Celsius on this last full weekend of summer. Next weekend we'll bring the fall equinox in the beginning of autumn. No be told there's no second section coming down the tracks today. Well we're now about 20 miles or so north of the last location in the town of Forestport at a location known to the railroad as Pit 4. I've never videoed from this side of the tracks here before. So despite a less than perfect sun angle, I'm going to give it a try. This is along Adirondack Railroad's home rails, part of the 85 mile stretch of track between Remsen and Tupper Lake 
for which the Adirondack is a designated operator. So from Forceport, New York, along the Adirondack Railroad, this is Railroading Rambler and VTOLD out for now. Well, VTOLD and I enjoy a good campfire after a fun-filled day of rail fanning. And here we are enjoying this fire cool late summer evening. wanted to thank everyone for watching the video and at this time I'd like to remember a good friend of mine who just passed away recently, namely Al Gorney. Al passed away at age 83. I knew him for many years. He was a volunteer at the Adirondack Railroad going back to 1992. He was an excellent railroad photographer. Many of his photographs were published in magazines. He grew up in Richfield Springs, New York, which was on a branch off the Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western's Utica, New York line. And I recall him telling me many stories about steam locomotives on the DLNW. He remembered about seeing. He remembered seeing those engines when he was uh, a youngster. Al was a charter member of the Utica National, Utica Mohawk Valley chapter of the National Railway Historical Society. He was always a great guy to talk to about anything having to do with railroading. Had a lot of interesting stories and was a keen observer of the local railroad scene. So Al, I'm going to miss you and I know a lot of other folks will miss you as well.